Hello everyone, this is going to be a tutorial about how to make a glossy shiny button effect in GIMP. So, we already have a blue rectangle with rounded corners here. If you don't know how to make this, then go click the link right here and I'll tell you how to do that. The first thing we want to do here is select this rectangle by clicking select by color and if you click anywhere that has the same color it'll select all of that color pretty nifty tool and then go and click the gradient tool um, set the gradient to from foreground to transparent click the reverse button go from linear to let's do shape spherical and change the color to black. And then click and drag a line in the middle of the rectangle like that and you should have a shaded outside of a rectangle just like that. So after that go to your rectangle select tool and this part might take a bit of practice or a little bit of um, trial and error but try and make a rounded rectangle with edges close to, I didn't do it here, but the edges are a little bit smaller, like maybe two or three points smaller than the actual rectangle. And so make sure it fits nicely in there. And then go to your gradient select, change the color back to white, and make sure that's not reverse bring that back to linear and bring the opacity down to like 80 ish click from the top drag down make sure the line is straight and then you should have a bright white effect like that it's a little bit sloppy on this side but we'll deal with it since I'm rushing through and then do the same thing except much smaller on the bottom actually Hold on, let me think of another way to do this. Um, you'll have to, actually you'll have to start pretty high up because the round is gonna be it's not gonna be rounded enough. So start like halfway up or something like that. And then go and once again make it close to the edges as you can without making them actually touching. And then do the same thing, go to the gradient tool, and this time bring the opacity down to like 40, maybe. And do that same thing from reverse, but not too big, like only that high up. Just like that. And there you have it. It's pretty simple, but there's your glossy effect. Hope this tutorial helps out, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. Peace.